Well, hi there, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster. I'm over here in the power room because the quarry has finished at long last. And it has dug up lots and lots and lots of redstone. Me worrying it wouldn't get any. It's actually dug up even more than that because I've been taking it out to make things. It's also managed to get 28 diamonds and I still don't know how, but 35 emeralds. So that's pretty good. Also over here I'll quickly note that I have put in another one of these steam dynamos. This steam boiler can handle even more than four. Uh, but it does mean that I'm not actually losing power now because I was, which was a pain. So I'm just going to quickly make a very quick change over here because basically this bit just needs a quick bit of sorting and I might as well do it on camera because what I need is, well, let's have a look. I want to automate the pulling in of stuff and automate where the quarry goes. So I bet I don't have a chest, do I? I do not have a chest. Well, that's a bit of an oversight. That one would be bad. Let's quickly run and grab a chest. I'll apologise now if my mouse or my screen is spinning round a bit funnily. It's because I'm trying out another different mouse. This one doesn't do the funky double clicking thing. But, oh are they not in there? There's some there. Uh, but it does move a bit funkily. I've not quite got it how I like it just yet technical issues for which I shall apologise but I shall do my best. Okay so what I will want to do is connect up the quarry power here because that is the power going into the factory. Uh, so the quarry power will go straight down into a tesseract beneath it which will have a chest behind it which will be there I think is a fine place for a chest to go one mini chest and if I dig that out it'll look it'll look fine that'll be fine that needs to come out anyway uh, and it will go down to that which is actually quite far down so I don't want you after all you can in fact be filled back in with that and we shall put in a pair of I know I picked these up item ducting that will go into there that's an output, that's a servo motor, which will suck anything out if I do that. There we go, it's turned on. Now I just need to whack these two out and t put a tesseract down there. So that will automatically offload into that chest now, which will be sucked straight into my ME system and put this hardened energy cell there. It wants to not connect left and right or top, uh, but input from the back, output to the bottom into that chest. So that will be it fully automated, which is quite a miracle. And I've got a bit of junk now. Patch that hole up. That should have gone straight into my inventory. So that's quarry, that's tower. I only have one sign on me. Uh, but that is the factory power line. There we go. And that will be the quarry. That will be empties whenever I get round to it and I'll have to reset up my automatic cobble generator. I will also need to move stuff out of here. So what is the plan for today? Well, what I noticed was that I have a ton of emeralds, which is quite a surprise. I've got quite a full inventory as well, so I'll just grab a few bits of this. Um, a 
couple of those because I don't know how much lapis I've got and some of the redstone. And emeralds. What should I make with emeralds? Well, I didn't really expect to get any emeralds around here, so it was quite a surprise. But there's one good thing that you can make with emeralds. And that is the power suit stuff. Now, I normally don't bother with power suits because that really needs to go. I'll put those in there for now because they are machines. I don't normally bother with the power suits because, to be honest, I think they're a touch overpowered. Hence the name, I guess. A bit of food for if I need it. I'm fully fed. But I thought it might be good for here because my base isn't exactly sprawling but it is a decent size if I'm running from here over to the power room and back so speeding up that would be a good thing. So power suits, here's the power suit stuff. To do power suits we need the power armor tinker table. For now I'm going to set it up in here. The power armor tinker table is quite easy. It is either this recipe, basic machine casting, blah 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 or you can do this one, which is a bit easier. It's a transmission coil, machine frame, electrum, and the emerald. That's why we need emeralds. You can see I've been making lots of electronic circuits in preparation. So, emeralds, a machine uh, frame, it's called. A coil and some electrum. Where's my electrum? There is my electrum. Arrange them in that rather funky pattern. That's a really annoying zombie out there. And you get this, the power armor tinker table. I shall, as I say for now, pop it down in the corner. What is going on out there? Oh, of course, he's dying because it's morning. Um, power armor tinker table. If you open it up, there are no power suit items in the inventory. I've got to make them. So I have to make... I've lost power. Why have I lost power? That would be a bad thing. Have I disconnected something? Have I been silly and disconnected something? Most probably. Uh... Uh, that is fully charged. It should be going straight down into that. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Um, is that sucking out? T no, that's fully charged, so it shouldn't be. I'll just pop that out, just in case, but... Um, they haven't broken any cables, and they are fully charged. So why would that not be getting power? It's getting power but not enough. There's something going on down here. That is fully charged. I mean, that is working, but it shouldn't be drawing all the power out, should it? Let's just smack that out for a sec. And I can't get over there, can I? So that's not draining power. And now it's fully charged. Okay, so it was just the machines downstairs are pulling too much power out, apparently, which is a really bad, bad thing. Never mind. So, uh, yes, I've already done that. So what I need to do is get some of these. Now, the two things I want are the boots and the leggings. As you can see, they are quite cheap recipes to make. That's iron ingots and electronic circuits. That's iron ingots and electronic circuits. 
There are other recipes, but I might as well use those ones. I have made up in preparation 28, which probably won't be enough, electronic circuits. We also need to get some iron out. You can see we are not short on iron anymore. Over 1,000 pieces. So there we go. Boots. You can see how expensive these are. Uh, I have forgotten the leggings recipe already. It was those in the middle. That's fine. And we get the leggings. Now, if we go over here, I should quickly say that if I pop these on, if you don't know these, uh, absolutely nothing happens. They've appeared in the bottom left, but you can see I've got no armor on, according above my health bar. That's because without upgrades, they do nothing. So you can now see we've got the options, so I can do all these things to it. The things I am interested in are actually in the legs. Things like the jump assist and the sprint assist, swim boost, uphill step assist, all these things. Which are rather good and interesting, and they make you walk faster, which is why I want them. So ones which would be useful, sprint assist would, that makes you go faster. It needs servo motors. Um, this, I uh, need a battery in to store power, which needs capacitors. A kinetic generator would be good, that's again servo motors control circuits. You can see we need to make stuff. Mostly we need to make servo motors. Some servo motors, lots of control circuits as well. This is a shock absorber, it stops you getting hurt if you fall long distances. That's another servo motor. Also diamonds, which is the advanced plating, which will give me a bit of armour and I've got a good amount of diamonds. So we need some of oh, these things. We need lots of servo motors. Servo motors can use that recipe, or they can use that recipe, or that recipe. So I'm going to need lots of machine casings, which I didn't actually notice. So I'm going to need lots and lots of iron plating. How much iron plating do I have? 56. That's enough for a few. Seven, seven servo motors. That would be a start, I guess. I also need lots of solenoids, which can be made with item casings or with pure iron, and wires, which can be made that way or that way. So let's go for the silver copper option, because I think I've got more of that. So silver copper. Let's get a stack of those. Um, let's get two stacks of those, because I might well go through them. I need to turn those into solenoids, which means surrounding iron with them. One thing I'm not short of is iron anymore. So there's some of that with a few of those. So I can get loads of them. Uh, loads is apparently only 21, so I may be lying. So machine casing and electronic circuits. So, how many of these shall I make? I really need more than seven, so I need to bash out a bit of iron. My forge hammer, if I still have one, will be in here. I do not still have one. As I remember, they were called forge hammers, weren't they? Yep. Uh, sticks and iron, that's right. Couple of four chammers. Let's make it three. Bash out iron. Pop. Uh, pop. Might just as well make up tons of this stuff. Because I do have plenty of um, iron about. So we can make up another set of. Well, not actually that many, can we? Let's go for 23, that is enough. Right, back to power suits. There we go. So, we were looking at making these servo motors because I need lots of them. They are that, that, and two of those. So I think I have quite a few of those now. So let's make... I'm going to run out of a lot of this stuff quite quickly, aren't I? I'll start off with just that. Oh, and I'm clicking those back into there. 
circuits. Uh, solenoids, they're called. Serenoids and the casing. So that's eight servo motors, which is enough for some stuff. I could also well use a small battery, which can be made like that or like that. That is gold, silver, and the basic wiring. I don't think I kept any basic wiring, did I? That's wrong. So copper with silver again. Let's get up a, have I picked up 64? Yep, a stack of those. I'm going to need gold, gill, gold, gold, and silver. So it was gold and silver with, was it wiring? Oh, I can't remember, I will admit it. Gold and silver, piece of paper and two pieces of wiring. Now paper, I do have a bit of. Two pieces of wiring. Those are solenoids. Two pieces of wiring. Wrong way round. Gets us a couple of the cheap O batteries. That's fine, that's all I really need. Uh, the kinetic generator, what did that need? Run back over here. Actually, we can start installing this stuff. So if I click on the basic battery, you can see I need, I can click install because I have one. It's now in. Um, we can up the size. You can see it up the, ups the weight. That just makes you heavier, basically. So I'll set it just mid-range at the minute. Which is fine. Right, the shock absorbers in the shoes I definitely need. That needs two servo motors and two wool. Uh, I've got that. I need the wool. Uh, I think it needs two pieces, doesn't it? Let's do the brown, because I've got more brown wool for some reason. Shoes. Shock absorbers. It's not going to insist on me having white wool, is it? Is it really? Okay, well, I can do that. Uh, shears? Have my shears gone into here? They have. Right, well, go shear some sheep before nightfall. Where are my sheep? Oh, of course, I don't actually have any white sheep. Well, in that case, we have bone meal, I guess. Pretty sure that works. Come on, zoom. Right. Uh, wool. I've already got the wool out, haven't I? Get a load of wool out, get some bone meal. And do you just combine it? Do you have to put it in the middle and have it around the edge? Quite embarrassing when you can't remember basic Minecraft recipes, isn't it? Wool. String. Uh, yeah, it's... Oh, it's wool around the edge with a piece in the middle. Uh, that's much more difficult. But I do have enough. There we go. Eight pieces of wool. Now will you let me install it? Yep, you will. So now we have shock absorbers. This determines how much energy it actually takes in. Right, what else would we like? How about the jump assister? Because I think that's quite useful. We will install that because we can. Uh, compensation. Let me just remember. Ah, uh, yes. So, we probably, yeah, the higher we put it up, the more energy it takes. Uh, the one other thing which we do definitely need is a energy generator, the kinetic generator. That's what we needed the control circuits for. So control circuits. Uh, 
a control circuit is to electronic circuits, glowstone, redstone, and those wires. Now I should have all of this stuff if I have the glowstone, which I do, and the redstone, which I certainly do now. Uh, ooh, was it there? And there? It was. So that is a control circuit, so I can now go and put that in. Install. So now I can actually put these on. They do look very stylish on you. A bit... Look at that. Robo legs. So now I should be able to jump much higher. Which is something. And you can see on the right my energy going up. So that is something. What have I got? I've just got the jump assist. Right, the kinetic generator. I can up the amount it generates. It just turns the weight up. Turn that up to the max. And we can jump ridiculously high. It does make a slightly annoying noise. Okay, do I have enough servo motors for one more thing? Where are my servo? Have I used up all my servos? I think I have. Okay. Uh, but I can make up a load more. So I don't know why I don't have more. So, solenoids. I am going to need more solenoids. Solenoids were those around those. So if we use half of these, and just do that, really badly, that's another five, uh, which will be enough, I think. Yeah, plenty, 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 lads. Right, whack together another eight of those. Seven, that's fine, too. And we can put a bit of sprint assist. which will also give us walking assist, which will let us move faster. That mainly alters sprinting, but now we should find we can walk much faster and jump really far, which is awesome. I might have to turn the sounds down a bit though. But that will mean that we can get around the base much easier, which is really important because it means you don't have to sit around watching me for hours. There is no sprint assist, so it's actually faster to walk than sprint, which is a bit silly. It does make it a bit hard to get in and out. So, sprint assist uh, is on the legs. I am on the legs. Am I? Surely I'm on the boots there. No? Oh yeah, it's this one. I don't recognise Sfax that well. Uh, so, yeah, double up that. What does that do? Oh, of course. So, now I should be able to double tap and run really fast as well. And there we go. The modular power suits, they do make it, and you can see I'm not being hurt at all. Nice. Hello, Creeper. You can't get me up here, though there's probably one of your little friends up here. Nice. So that is this. As you can probably guess, it is, does get a bit awkward sometimes if you're trying to get through doors and stuff. But you can actually turn these on and off with a key binding, which I shall do. But off the top of my head, I can't remember the controls. So I'll do that for next time and show you. So that's it for another episode. With a bit of luck, more, the next episodes will be a little bit faster moving around. So thank you very much for watching this episode, guys. I very much hope that you enjoyed it, and I very much hope to see you next time. Goodbye.